What it do, what it do, everybody. Welcome to a Saturday edition of You've Been Served with your host, Dynamite. And right now, I want to talk about the Fighting Illini and Lovey Smith's debut. Also, at the end of the program, I'll be talking about the Chicago Bears cut down to the 53-man roster. So, um, real quick, let me just say, on the touch of the Bears real quick, you know, I do my commentary based off the stuff that I see. I don't mean to really talk down on the Bears. You know, they're my favorite team from Chicago, grew up watching them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not trying to dog them when I talk negative. I want to say that just off a comment that one of the, pe um, one of the people left. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to dog them. I, I, I will hope that they do real good and I have good stuff to say every time. When they play good, I praise them. When they play bad, I get on them. So that's what it is, man. You know, I'm not doing this for anybody to like me or nothing like that. I'm doing this because I'm passionate about the Chicago Bears and any Illinois football, or well, uh, sports team for that matter. So as y'all can see, I'm talking about the Illini, not just because Lovey Smith is the coach who used to coach the Bears, but, you know, um, I got a stepbrother, man, not my brother-in-law, Dennis Stall, that's number 56, he used to play for Illinois, my sister went to Illinois, so, you know, I got a past, a history with Illinois. But like I say, any Chicago or Illinois area team, I'm going to cover. As the Cubs get down to the stretch and, you know, hopefully win the World Series, I'm going to be talking about and covering that. So right now it's about Illini football. And I know it was Murray State. You know what I'm saying? And I know it's game one. And I know last year they what, won 52-3 to three as well last year. But this team was different. This team looks good. I'm not about to say that they finna win a national championship or be up there with Michigan, who also look good, or Ohio State or Alabama or nothing like that. But who knows? We don't know how good this team can be. And let me say that Lovey Smith had these boys playing right off the back. And just like John Fox, I mentioned in one of my other videos that John Fox is a lot like Lovey with that deferring. Lovey did it today. He won the coin toss, but then he deferred and put his defense on the field field first lovey being a defensive coach he had trust in his system that uh lovey two, chicago two, tampa two, whatever you want to call and they played it right off the back and got an interception number 30 intercepted the ball and then the offense took over and came right down and scored you know uh west lunt who i've been liking since i've been seeing him i think he's a good prospect and i think nfl team should be watching him you know i think he controls manage the game he got a good deep arm a nice touch and then the receiver number 11 like I say, I don't know the uh, line eye guys like I know the Bears, you know what I'm saying, the, the uh, names, so I just mention numbers, but when they kick butts and that's each player do good, I will learn you guys' name, but the receiver number 11 had two good touchdowns, and um, you know, Vonda running back was good, but this was all about Kendrick Foster, as y'all can see in the picture still right here, this was the first of two of his 56-yard run touchdowns, and you can see right there that he was finna break away from the defenders. When you get two long touchdown runs like that that ain't by accident and i watched this game very closely man and uh illinois offense and defense was bringing it. and i was saying if they could find another compliment to vine uh in a running game they go have something and right off the back lovey defense getting turnovers the uh offense ran the ball that opened up the passing game so i think that kendrick foster is gonna be a really good weapon look out for him to do some damage he had over 100 yards like on four carries you know what i'm saying so let's see if they can be consistent and keep doing it i know they play north carolina next week you know they gotta be ready north carolina comes here but uh illini if they defense can keep putting pressure with the front four i think they had like six sacks the last that i looked they uh field goal kicker number 43 hit almost like a 50 yard field goal so um number 24 they kick return guy a lot like Devin hester i think lovey got something here if you match them up with the bears if you try to go and say look you go be this player you go be that player and just to like get that in their heads a young team like this new coaching staff this win doesn't do nothing but give them confidence going forward they got me watching you know what i'm saying and let's just take it week to week we don't know what's gonna happen nobody can predict the future i know it was exciting to see you know they was bringing the heat ran the ball throwing the ball you know like i say just great job fighting the line i want to know lovey smith good way to kick off i might be leaving some guys out as usual but overall i'm impressed with the line i okay Okay, let's get and shift this to the Chicago Bears, Chicago Bears, real quick, man. And um, I just must say that it was cut down day. 
And I'm going to be honest, I knew I was going to have it kind of hard, you know what I'm saying, Taking take kind of hard some of the players to let go. But right off the back, man, Braverman, I don't understand how they could cut Braverman. I knew it was tough and a lot of receivers, man, but you don't cut a guy like that, man, and we drafted him. And that lets you know Ryan Pace about business. Ain't no favoritism. I see he will cut somebody that he drafted, man. But uh, Braverman was let go. Uh, Timo was let go. Uh, Terry Williams was let go. Ben Bronica, the tight end, was let go. Mark Mariani of all shocks was let go. You know, I didn't. We didn't get the final cut down because the Bears got it in late. But I don't know if Eagle Ferguson and Will Sutton uh, made it or not. But you know, like I said, Mariani, uh, Braverman, just shocked to see that these guys gone, man. And I know it's the most surprising cuts, but it was a lot of cuts around the whole league. So I'm sure the Bears watching the uh, waiver wire to see who they could pick up to help the team. Uh, I don't want to get his name wrong, but I know Green Bay cut a good offensive lineman. I've been seeing all over Twitter and stuff like that, man. But yeah, man, the Bears say goodbye to two of their slot receivers. So that leaves Eddie Royal, you know, and them, man, they, they cut the two tight ends uh moyaki and um and uh rousler how do you cut moyaki he had a real number 49 he had a real good preseason man that's unbelievable i'm upset about that the two tight ends they caught they didn't do anything i mean they blocking tight ends that what if miller go down you know i just don't understand that and real quick let me say to sam uh outro i've been i said his name wrong i think in uh week two he had a good game and i um i don't know how i keep getting his name wrong as much as he be, was on 670 with lawrence but he played lights out he was who i was talking about when i was saying the bears was getting sacks and the linebackers was playing good and i singled out 44 forgot to talk about sam outro but going forward man we at 53 i don't know what they gonna do with pernell mcphee personally i don't care i think that whole situation is messed up and the bears handle it wrong and pernell mcphee talking about you know he violent he brings this and that but we haven't seen you you've been missing in action so i would like to see them go ahead and give floyd more time let him start he's proven that he can play the game you know what i'm saying why wait he need as much experience as possible and definitely get number 49 sam acho in there some more so this just been my show about the line i doing a good job and talking about the bears cuts i'm gonna do one more show before the season start and then it be picking the games and picking the bears record and i think that you guys might be surprised it was a big trade today in the nfl could you believe that that the um, Philadelphia Eagles traded Sam Bradford to the Minnesota Vikings for a first round draft pick in 2018 and uh, a fourth round draft pick uh, for later. So it's a lot of stuff happening. And I think uh, Mark Sanchez went to Dallas to be their backup quarterback. So it's a crazy day of cut down, man. And I had an official roster breakdown when I talk about my um, season picks of who I think will go to the playoffs in the Bears record. So again, a line night win, a debut Lovey Smith game, 52 to 3 against Murray State. Your boy Kendrick Foster, 256 yards touchdown runs lunt was pretty good and uh man cut down day so this has been a special edition man if you got served with your host ceo dynamite go ahead and comment let me know what y'all think about everything with college football back and all all right i'm out of here man Pew.